Baby Monster have had a tough time without even debuting, but the worst of it all is that Ahyun won't be hitting the stage for the first time with the rest of the members. Even though YG Entertainment has already said that it was for health reasons, fans are wondering whether that's the truth as there are many signs pointing to other things. We already know the mess that went on with Baby Monster's debut. First, it was the survival show and Yang Hyun Sok saying that not all of the members would end up debuting, then the company gave a debut date and then it was pushed to increase quality. In general, not a very favorable situation for everyone involved, especially the members. But just as everyone was complaining about YG's inconsistency when it came to the debut of their first girl group ever since 2016, another problem arose. Did Ahyun leave the group? Back in September, a few rumors came up that Ahyun had left the group, leaving the fans in confusion. An online community user made a whole post about it, providing all the reasons on why they thought that Ahyun had either left the group or had been kicked out. The user mentioned that the company's official account kept uploading reels of the other Baby Monster members, but they hadn't uploaded anything about Ahyun ever since the beginning of July. In addition to that, nobody had seen her going to or leaving the YG building while the other members were seen consistently. As a third piece of proof, the netizen also mentioned that Ahyun was the only Baby Monster member who didn't go to Blackpink's concert. This made fans and netizens believe wholeheartedly that something had happened to Ahyun and that because of this unknown reason, she wouldn't be debuting with the group. She was also the most famous member in the group and the one that the public preferred the most, so if she were to leave, everyone knew that it would be disastrous for the group. And well, if we're being honest, YG couldn't afford to lose one. Imagine this, YG lost G-Dragon, Taeyong and Daesung, the whole icon, and probably even Blackpink, who the company isn't sure will be renewing their contracts. With all these losses, it seems like Akmu, Treasure, and now Baby Monster would be the company's only chance in staying afloat. However, if they ended up losing Ahyun, their chances would be slim. Netis even echoed these sentiments, writing comments like, No way, if Ahyun leaves, the members' composition will be hopeless. And seriously, if Ahyun leaves, Baemon will have no more future. She's the post Jenny. Of course, being a group from a big three company guarantees success most of the time, but YG has been taking hit after hit lately, so even the company knows that they can't take too many risks at this time. Then YG gave an official debut date for Baby Monster, November 27th. The fact that they even announced a November debut, like they promised, was the most surprising thing to netizens. Most even guessed that this debut was rushed, considering that the announcement came a few days after Young Hyun Sog, the founder of the company, was sentenced to prison. However, since the company hadn't addressed anything about Ahyun or her absence from Instagram reels or even group hangouts, the fans were still suspicious. Then YG dropped the big news, Ahyun wouldn't be debuting with the group. Even the way this situation unrolled was very messy. At first, it was reported that she had left the group altogether for personal reasons, which had fans more shocked than anything. Again, she was the most popular member with the Korean and the international public, so to lose her, it would be like losing the heart of the group. But some people were definitely happy that someone with such it girl potential might debut in another group as part of another company who would appreciate her more. There were also rumors spread around explaining why she left. Yes, the company cited personal reasons on why she left, but it never seems to be that simple when it comes to idols, so fans came up with their own theories. A few mentioned Ahyun's controversial pre-debut cover of Nicki Minaj's Feelin' Myself, in which she was caught saying the N-word on camera. She got a lot of flack from international fans who were mad that someone who was fluent in English could say the word knowing how offensive it was. Back then, the company acted like nothing had happened, but after it was reported that Ahyun wouldn't debut, it had people wondering whether YG had considered the controversy to be a serious threat on her image and decided that it would be best if she left. However, knowing YG's history, that's unlikely to be the case. Actually, we don't think that cultural appropriation or use of racial slurs, no matter how severe, has ever made a company give up on its idols, let alone the popular ones who would bring in the most profit. Either way, if that was the case, YG wouldn't announce it so late, especially not two weeks before the group debuted and when they had already started releasing the teasers. So was that the reason why she isn't debuting? It obviously wasn't, and people guessed that it was because of YG's mismanagement of the group. First, they had the girls compete in a show, knowing that they would be debuting all seven members. Then Young Hyun Suk himself said that not all of the members would be debuting, which was just noise marketing, but a bad one. After the show was over and it was announced that all seven members would make it into the final lineup of the group, you would think that they would debut immediately, but no. So since Ah Hyun saw that the company was keeping them in the basement despite their hard work and just pushing their debut while throwing all of these surprises at them, many thought that she got fed up and left unexpectedly. After all, she could have seen how the other idols under 
YG retreated and predicted how her future as a YG artist would look like. Adding to that, she could definitely be a successful solo artist, especially knowing how much everyone loves her. After all the rumors, the company decided to make everything clear. In an additional statement, they said that Ahyun didn't leave but would just be absent from the debut due to health reasons. To give hope to fans, they stated that Ahyun would be joining the rest of the members as soon as she got better. Again, while fans were happy to hear that she would still be a member, they were still confused. Why would they announce it so late, especially since they probably knew that she would be absent? One theory is that Ahyun got plastic surgery shortly before the debut date, and the company has made her take a break until she heals, or at least until it isn't noticeable that she had a surgery. Yes, Ahyun is gorgeous, but this is a very common thing in the K-pop industry. The surgery rumor started on Twitter with a user posting a screenshot of a comment. The comment in question was from a user claiming to be friends with a makeup artist in the K-pop industry. The friend in question alleges that the debut got delayed because Ahyun had an unsuccessful nose surgery, which led to her apparently getting a second surgery. Since the company thought that her first surgery would be successful, they scheduled the debut to happen after her planned recovery. But considering how things allegedly turned out, they couldn't wait any longer and decided to debut without her, having Ahyun join the group later. Even though this is just a rumor, fans have started to put the puzzle pieces together. In September, a leaked video captured Ahyun walking with a group member, but the filming abruptly stopped because someone said that a staff member had interrupted them. There were also stories about people encountering this staff member when trying to approach the group, which added to the mystery surrounding Ahyun. Students from Hanlim school mentioned that Ahyun and another member took a break from studies from late July to early August, which lines up with the rumors about her alleged surgery. Of course, these are just rumors of the I know someone who knows someone kind, so take them with a grain of salt. The other theory is that Ahyun really left the group and the company is trying to cover it up. To support this theory, fans pointed out that Ahyun was removed from Baby Monster's profile on Naver. Also on November 16th, the Korean news site Top Star News brought up the rumors about Ahyun's current situation and her status within the group. They referred to an article from an online forum stating that Ahyun had departed from YG and had already joined another company with the unknown company planning to debut her next year. It wouldn't be the first time that YG idols went on hiatus because of health reasons and then said idols ended up leaving the group. And knowing the company's history, it wouldn't be surprising if Ahyun's was the same case. Maybe she was really sick of the mistreatment and decided to get out of there before it got worse. Or maybe this is a pink punk situation. For those of you that don't know, Blackpink originally was supposed to be pink punk, but then a few members left and the group rebranded to Blackpink before debuting. So what if YG will readjust the lineup and debut a whole different group than the one that was originally promised? And well, there's also the possibility that YG is telling the truth. She hasn't been seen anywhere and her absence from the group's debut suggests that the decision was very last minute and that something big has happened. But what are the chances of this happening though? Again, knowing how vague YG is about one of their most popular idols at a time where their stocks are in grave danger makes you think that something fishy is definitely going on behind the scenes. Guess we can only wait for updates or even clarification because as good as YG are at avoiding things, it can't go on forever. Share your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye guys!